Hi guys, welcome to Assassin's Creed 4 on the PC with an HD 7850. This is the settings that you're going to see the video. I consider it the ICE settings and these settings are very close to what PlayStation 4 will deliver. Uh, PC have a lot of exclusive uh, graphic features, like for example you have uh, uh, soft shadows, you have the HEXA if you have an NVIDIA graphic card, you have HBAO Plus, and you have an uh, improved uh, version of uh, God Rays if you use the, the eye present of God Rays, which is Volumetric Bytes. So, since the game is a uh, little demanding and it's already on the next generation, I decided to choose the same graphics as the PS4 uses, which is this iPreset, which I'm going to call iPreset uh, PlayStation 4 graphics. Uh, this test will be run on four different uh, maps. So the beginning, in the middle of a war and the storm, as you can see already, you're going to see two uh, gameplay through the Iceland. You're going to see uh, gameplay through the city and through Abstergo buildings and in the end of the video, and if you want to skip already, you just need to, to press the red square. You just need to press the red square if you want to go to the to the performance, uh, graphic of performance, which I get, or just see on the details of the video, right? If you want to see the gameplay, you have uh, half an hour of gameplay, and we don't move to. Sorry, I'm using Xbox 360 gamepad, so I'm not playing on an Xbox, alright, I'm playing on the PC. And, like I said, in the end, frame rate and what you can could expect in terms of that. So, in the end, we will talk a little bit more, alright? So, stay with the video, the gameplay, which is incredible, awesome, and see you later. Is it dangerous? Edward? Hmm? Privateering? Is it dangerous? Wouldn't pay so nice if it weren't. Well, why not sail with the King's Navy? Earn a proper wage? Sail under gentlemen? Sod the Navy's gentlemen. For every shilling I'd earn, the captain gets 600. That's no way to earn a fortune. We don't need a fortune. It's not about need, Caroline. I want food that don't make me sick. I want walls that hold back the wind. I want a decent life. H how long would you be gone with these privateers? A year, I reckon. Two at the most. All right. No more than two. Promise me.
Was it good for you as well? Havana. I must get to Havana. Well, I'll just build us another ship, will I? I can pay you. Isn't that the sound you pirates like best? One hundred esculos. Keep talking. Will you or won't you? You don't have that gold on you now, do you? Bloody fucking pirates! <laughs> I'm on to you, Sneaksby! Come on, mate. We're off to a bad start. It's a hundred leagues or more to Havana. Will you walk that distance? Where's he running to? Follow and I'll kill you! We could work together on this.
Senor Duncan Walpole. I accept your most generous offer and await your arrival with eagerness. If you truly possess the information we desire, we have the means to reward you handsomely. Though I will not know your face by sight, I believe I can recognize the costume made infamous by your secret order. Therefore, come to Havana in haste, and trust that you shall be welcomed as a brother. Su más humilde servidor, el gobernador Laureano Torres y Ayala. Mr. Walpole, let's collect your reward. That schooner will do just fine. Destination is Havana. I'm just a merchant. Quiet, you bleeding pirate! You'll hang for the mess you made out there, sir. I had nothing to do with this attack. My crew and I have merely anchored to water and resupply. Hold it! Give me one reason I shouldn't vent your skull. Take my sugar. Take anything you like. I'll pay you! Anything you like! God's grace, sir. You saved me. A profusion of thanks. Is that yours? It is my vessel, yes. But uh, here lies its poor captain, and I have no art for sailing. I can pilot her myself, no mind. You don't mean to abscond with my ship, do you? I'm Duncan. What's your name, friend? Steed, Steed Bonnet. Well, Mr. Bonnet, let this stay twixt us. But I'm on a secret errand for His Majesty the King, God save him, and I must get to Havana with speed. Ah, oh, that is a relief, sir. Havana is also my destination. Our ways lie together. Natural allies, then. Ah, oh, you put me at ease, sir. To think I took you for a pirate when you first appeared. Did you? Yes. You have an uh, uncommon way of handling yourself. Quick and easy, if I may say. Gave me quite a fright. But, all things considered, I think it's turned out to be a rather fortuitous day, hasn't it? Lacking a rowboat, I'm afraid we'll have to swim to my ship. Hardly the worst thing to happen.
Chains out! Let's go! Welcome aboard, Duncan. She's a modest schooner, but well suited to my purpose, trafficking cargo from my plantation and such. She'll do fine. There's a strong wind now. Let's strike to full, shall we? Ah, there's a tug of the wind at my hair. Ah, I find a bracing comfort in the feel and smell of the ocean. The raw stink of... of possibility. That's a top way of seeing it, mate. We've really opened it up now, haven't we? <laughs> Those sailors were quite animated by the idea of pirates roaming these waters. Is it a real danger, do you suppose? A possibility. But most pirates stalk the windward passage between Cuba and Hispaniola. Oh, I see. Yes, that is a bustling strait. But I shouldn't worry about being waylaid by pirates, truth be told. My ship is small, and I have nothing of immense value. Sugarcane and its yields, molasses, rum, that sort of thing. <laughs> There's not a pirate living who turn his back on a keg of rum. Well, yes. Yes, I suppose that's true. <laughs> You're a natural sailor, Duncan. I did a decent trick at the helm some time ago. Two years before the mast as a privateer. Dash my buttons. Your life seems a grand one, if I may say. So full of adventure. How marvelous. I've seen my share of strangeness, I. Very promising. Welcome back. Well, your numbers look good. Now let's make sure we can break your brain, all right? I need you to move your head and look at these lights just here. Look up. That's it. Down. So far, so good. Let's get you up. So, welcome to the Sample 17 project. Before you get started, you're gonna need this. There you go. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hello, bonjour. C'est bon? It works? All right, let's take a walk. Your file says you've done some memory research before, but not to this extent, which is surprising. You're very good. The data streams are very stable. Impressive, right? This building is barely six months old, but Abstergo Entertainment has been a studio for a few years, since 2010. Maybe you saw Liberation? That was our first title powered by Animus Tech. That was just the tip of the iceberg. Soon, we'll be unveiling commercial Animus servers for the whole world to enjoy. They'll offer passive experiences, of course. Edited versions of real history. But only the exciting parts. And we think we found the perfect subject for our first full-length virtual feature. Caribbean Pirates. So that's your gig. It'll just take a minute, okay? 
Well, thank you, Nancy. Bon journée. C'est bon, t'étais prêt. Magnifique. Merci. This is for you. The primary tool of our trade. Your communicator. Power it up and give it a look. It's pretty slick. You might have noticed that security seems a little light around here. That's because your communicator is your key to getting around. See that flashing wireless signal? It means you're hooked up to the elevator. I'll let you do the honors. We're headed up to the Sample 17 studio, second floor. You ready? Let's go. Ah, there's the boss, Olivier Garneau, our CCO. I'll introduce you. Bonjour. Salut, Mélanie. Ça va bien? Well, thanks. Have you met our new hire? Just started today. I haven't. Bonjour. What project? Sample 17, the Kenway line. Hey, them. Connor. Edward, the pirate. Ah, ar, yar, matey. <laughs> Very exciting. Welcome aboard. Uh, Melanie, can we talk in your office for a minute? Just let me get this one settled and I'll see you in five minutes. C'est bon. Nice to meet you. So, this is the Sample 17 floor. We're diving into the memories of one very generous donor, Desmond Miles. We're pulling all the best stuff from his DNA, and hopefully one day, we can forge some fantastic experiences from what we find in there. This pair of legs is John, one of the wizards in IT. He's just fixing something for you. Not fixing, calibrating. Calibrating, right. So here we are. Your very own Animus workstation. This is all yours, so sit back, relax, and find us some good footage. If you need any hints or tips, the Animus is loaded with tutorial programs, so you'll have no problems. And I'll check in on you later. Happy pirating. Welcome to Animus Omega, Abstergo Entertainment's proprietary ancestral memory research tool. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about how to operate your Animus console, please contact your project supervisor, Melanie LeMay. You have been registered as part of the Sample 17 project. Your primary research target is Edward James Kenway, born March 10, 1693, Swansea, Wales. Calibrations complete. All signs normal. All systems optimal. Extra neurotransmitters activated. Havana. I've been here once before. It was a truly awful pleasure. See someone you know? No, no, no. Just putting on a friendly face. I shouldn't want to be mistaken for a pirate again. Right. Flash rogue like yourself must be cautious. to think Spain and England were at war two years ago, isn't it? 
Here I am, bartering with Spaniards like they were my cousins. Nothing wrong, Duncan? No, it's nothing. Sand in my hampers. So where's the best squad in town? I'm dying for a quick kip. Or a siesta, should I say. Um, I'm just headed to uh, a public house now to meet some merchants. I could, I could show you the way. Well, lead on. I hope you'll tarry a bit while I conduct my meeting. It'd be a great relief to have a man of your stature nearby in case of a misunderstanding. I can hang about. I might have a drink. Splendid. <laughs> drink. <laughs> but they don't take kindly to pirates here, do they? Wonder how many stolen reals bought these men this perch. Hola, ladies. You don't know these women, do you? No. They charge money for that kind of privilege. A few dozen reals for every hour of knowing. Keen to meet them. No. Goodness, no. I'm a, I'm a married man. A married man of their forte, mate. Aha! Here's a purveyor of personal defenses. I should acquire a blade for myself, Duncan, just as you have. This rusty razor is nothing to admire. Even so, I appear a mere kitten walking so close upon you. Perhaps a small dagger would suit me. Let's see what he's selling. Maybe I'll buy a sword, too. We'll both jump rank. Oh, we'll be quite the pair, you and I. Twin devils! <laughs> Lend us a few reals, then. I did save your skin. Ah, uh, of course. Cheers. That's a better fit for me. How do you fare? I had only enough for a small knife, sadly. Still, it'll do in a pinch. Oh, puffer duff. I have led us astray, Duncan. Oh, no matter. I'll get us a better view. What are we looking for? Uh, a tavern. A sort of courtyard interior. <laughs> My goodness, you're an agile chap. Every finger's a fish hook. That's how you tell a true sailor. <laughs> I see the place. We're not far. Hang tight. So I'm back now. Hope you like the gameplay. A bit of a noob, I know. And so this is the performance that you get in the beginning of the game, uh, in the boat fighting. And so as we can see on I, which is PS4 graphics, we have a 40 average and on which we have 30 average and on normal almost 50 average. Seems good, but uh, we tend to aim for the mi good minimum frames. So in here was in the ice ones, all the placements in the ice ones, and we have an average of uh, 26, which is not good, and the on PlayStation 4 graphics, which is I, it's 41 FPS, seems pretty fluid. Normal, we have 46, it's not a big improvement. Now on the upstairs go, we see a major bottleneck caused by CPU, or maybe some optimization of the game, where all the settings get almost uh, more than less in performance. Uh, I didn't tell you yet, but the game is locked to 62 FPS's even if you have V-Sync off, alright? I guess it would be useful for you to know if you have a 112 Hz monitor. Again, on the end of the game, which was on Havana, we, had a, we have an average of uh, 28 on Ultra, PS4 settings average of 40s, which is good. And in normal, this one. 45. Other things. 
VRAM usage on iPresit uh, are reported uh, 1.4 gigabytes reported by MSC Afterburner. RAM usage, well, it's incredible though. Uh, you just need 3 gigabytes of RAM if you want to play this well. Uh, just try to not uh, fulfill your operating system with things uh, running on the background. CPU usage, so it's just using this and it's yet bottleneck bottlenecking the game. Uh, I'm not sure if it, this is really the processor or just uh, bad optimization, old engine, something like that, I don't know. So that's all about Assassin's Creed 4 and the HD 7850 and the Phantom 2X4 Quokka 23.6GHz. Hope you really like it. I'm sorry for the video being too, vi too big, but I guess video too big matched completely with this big title, uh, big next generation title. Hope you like it. And I'm very happy. I can have more frame rates than the PS4 on the same graphic. So, I'm happy, and with this, I end this video. Thanks a lot for seeing it, guys. Hope you like it.